we do it for the win. I, I my G. My name is Ian Heinish, also known as the Hurricane. I'm a UFC fighter. I'm currently ranked number 16 in the world. Before that, I had a serious addiction problem. I mean, it started uh, back in high school. My addiction got me two and a half years in a foreign prison, about six months in a Canadian jail, and then about four or five months in uh, American jail. I got addicted to Adderall. Next thing you know, I got a prescription for Xanax. And then drinking, uh, doing cocaine, and I eventually got expelled my senior year in high school. I was a very good athlete, I wrestled my whole life. I got a full ride scholarship to a JUCO. I would have got to a D1, but obviously if you get expelled, D1 is not gonna take you. I went over there, just basically blew everything. So I went up to Canada. King Tuck feet, yeah. We do it for the win. At a uh, Canadian Connection to Ecstasy pills. I got popped with 2,000 pills. I got set up. Uh, I was 19 years old. I was looking at four to six years. I decided to not go to jail and just post bail and go on the run. I hopped on a plane from JFK to Amsterdam with about $2,000 in my pocket. I met this American guy, his dad was Colombian, and he took me in like family, they still are like family. I went and lived with these people, and they said, hey gringo, you know, you got a lot of potential, we don't wanna see you living like this. The dad sat me down and he was like, hey, you know, gringo, let's go make some real money. We ended up taking trips down to Colombia, Venezuela, Mexico. We were going down there, we were getting coke, we were uh, wrapping it, swallowing it, and transporting it back to Spain. Clientele growing 12, 13 trips, I got caught by the police. And they were like, yeah, they could barely see little balls in there. And they're like, yeah, you have uh, drugs in your intestines. What is it? And I was like, nah, that's Chinese food. They just laughed and uh, threw the cuffs on me. And I sat a year in a Spanish prison without a trial. Unfortunately, American prison's not quite the same as Spanish and European prison. You know, they, they actually rehabilitated us. They had a boxing program, which I, I jumped into that. They had their own wrestling program. And so I went to alcohol classes, I went to church. It gave me a chance to find myself, find my purpose. Because living your life without a purpose, without living your God-given destiny, it's hard to stay away from drugs. After the year and three months, they I went to court. I got a three and a half year sentence. I was excelling at the wrestling program. I was doing really good. It's a form of wrestling called Lucha Canaria. It's basically takedowns best out of three in a gladiator pit. I thought it was super cool. They didn't like the idea of an American excelling at their sport, so they shipped me to the north of Spain. I have a dream. They actually had a boxing program. Started excelling at that. I had six fights in the prison. It was kind of like the movies where all the guards would come put bets on it. It was actually a really good experience. Right when I transferred to the new prison, it was kind of the first time I found God. This guy immediately came at me and learning some tricks being in prison, you gotta handle that right away. So I dropped this dude. I got three weeks in isolation. It's not fun, and you're just by yourself. It's so much time, I mean, I was praying, I was doing yoga, and so I was like losing my mind. I counted every crack in the room, I was pacing, and I was just like, God, if you're real, show me some peace right now. The only thing I have was a Bible that was in Spanish, and I started reading Spanish, and the scripture made sense to me, and it ignited a flame in my chest that was the Holy Spirit, and I felt the comfort come across me, and it was intense experience that brought me peace, and I just broke out in tears. Since I got baptized, I knocked out a guy in the first round, fought for the LFA belt that I had lost, then fought on Dana White's Contender Series, knocked a guy out with elbows in the first round, and then fought November 16th in Argentina against the number 16 guy in the world. Ended up winning the fight. Now I'm ranked top 20 in the world. I'm just going around and just trying to inspire people with my story. If there's hope in the future, there's power in the present. Focus on the point, I think they missed it. the people of the world